I'll tell you what, we're gonna do some winter crappie fishing. That's a good fish right there. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. What's up, party people? It's the holiday season. Cold, cold, cold. It's about 35 degrees. And uh, I can tell you, even the wind's up a little bit. So I'll tell you what, we're gonna do some winter crappie fishing. I'm gonna prove it to you that they're still on the piles. They're a little slower, no joke. I'm only gonna use jigs, primarily Jinko baits. When, that, when I struggle a little bit there, I go to a small, small hair jig. So that's gonna be the plan today. We're gonna be fishing structure. I'm gonna show you some live scope action on the active captain. That's what I like to do. I love doing it. Love showing you guys, show, showing you the bite. So I'm also gonna go through my rigs, everything we're doing. It's a, it's a great time to be, check it, check, just check it out. See that, see that? Come on now, that's crazy good. It's the holiday season, we're doing a giveaway. We're gonna do giveaways quite a bit through the season, but this is number one canine fishing line, going with the six pound high floral, high viz line. Folks, this is what I use, I love it. I'm gonna give 300 yards away for free. All you have to do is subscribe to the YouTube channel and share this post. You do those two things, you're entered, okay? I'm gonna check, I'm gonna verify, but I'll tell you right now, check it out, canine fishing line. I love this stuff. That's what we're gonna give away. We're starting off right here. I'm gonna do it for five days. In five days, I'm gonna do a drawing. You'll see the drawing. Somebody's gonna walk away with some high biz canine. Folks, fluoro, low memory. I love it. Small diameter. Check them out. All right, we're coming up on some fish. Here we go. Let's see if they're in a biting mood this fine afternoon. I'm trying out a different color jig too. Seeing what's going on. And I don't waste much time, folks. That's an orange and chartreuse. I don't waste time at all on jig colors. If I go down there and they are spooked by it, I will switch it right away. I don't know if that's the right way to go about it, but that's how I've always gone about it. I, I watch how they react to it, and they did not react good to it. So we switch it right up. That's why you have about four or five poles in your boat loaded up with different jig colors. But that was only after one drop and I think we should have gotten one of those fish. I am gonna show you some active captain. I just need to establish a pile that is very active. All right, so they touched this one. Interesting. There's our first fish. It's a good fish. Real good fish. About a 11, 11 and a half. Right there, great start to the day. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good evening, for, I should say. That's a beautiful eater right there. Now the fish are gonna move slower. So typically I will end up sizing down my baits. Cut them in half. I do that a lot with the Jinko baits right now. Um, but profile is a big thing. I, I believe in profile. A lot of guys I believe in color, vibration, scent. I'm a big believer in profile of the bait. I am not a believer in scent whatsoever. Uh, but everybody has their own thing, it's interesting. So, if somebody can make me a believer, then I'd love to believe in the scent deal, but right now it's purely a profile thing for me. And I think some of those, you know, guys that, oh, there's another one, that put uh, niblets on and stuff like that. I did have one tournament that I thought that the, uh, that's a bluegill, I thought the niblets were helping, but again, I go back to, was it really the niblet or was it the profile that it was adding to it, you know, so. But well, that's just me. All right, we're just out here scoping some fish before we get on a pile, so. Actually, there's sporadic fish coming through here, so that's nice. There's a fish. 
All right, that's a solid eater, folks. Hey, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of the new sponsors that uh, we have coming in this year. It's gonna be awesome. We got three new ones as of right now. We have one that's pending, but so wanna welcome, first and foremost, uh, all three of them are just fantastic companies. Uh, Pits and Grills out of Springfield, Missouri. Check them out for sauces, barbecue, grills, Yeti anything. Uh, I'll put their information on the screen, Pits and Grills. Then we have the Dr. Eaton Weight Loss Clinic out of um, Alabama. If you have a concern about weight loss, you, your wife, or anybody, he's the guy to call. He's literally the leader in the state of Alabama. And uh, we're working on some things maybe in regards to, to vitamins and things that would make a, a angler feel better. And so that's very interesting. And we have Canine Fishing Line. They have come on board. We're very excited about Kelly and his group. Um, so those are the three that are on board new this year. Uh, we have, of course, everybody else is on board. Grizzly Jig, Jinko Fishing, Cornfield Crappie Gear, uh, Ozark Rods, who am I missing? Power Poles, Lowe's, uh, American Fish Tree, who could forget them? Just did some videos with those guys. Um, just, you know, very fortunate, and we're gonna have a very active tournament schedule this year. The national qualifiers is definitely the, the, the focus. Hell, these are quality fish. Whether or not they're hungry or not is gonna be the question. Look at those guys, just came in at 20 foot now. So this is a perfect example of maybe we could stay back a little bit. We're gonna bring it out just a little bit. There it is. Those guys are stacked pretty tight, and I'm gonna cast this out there real quick. They're only 20 feet, so it's just really a flip. You don't have to go too past it, but you're gonna start seeing my jig come down the back. So you can see it in the background now. And what I'm, my goal is just to roll that right over it and see if we can get a strike. And there it is. Hopefully we get a bite here. Come on now. And there it was. So it had to go all the way through that pile. This is a decent fish though. Had to go all the way through that pile to get a fish. Now that's that's pretty cool. You saw that on Active Captain. This is a good solid eater fish. Good size, probably about 11 and a half, 12. Right there. And uh, so that's a perfect example of trying to stay back. We're gonna do it again. We're casting now. So there comes the pile, folks. This is video two. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast it a little bit past and kind of bring it right over it. because I was speeding. Definitely sizing down has helped. I don't know if you guys can see me or not. Definitely sizing down has helped. Definitely the key right now. Not the easiest bites, um, but sizing down is helping. Boy, that guy moves so slow. Good fish. Good fish. All right. Solid fish right there. All right, folks, this is our last hook set. And let me tell you, do not forget about the giveaway. K9 Fishing Line, hit that subscribe button. I'm always amazed to find out that only about 20% of you guys are subscribers. Do yourself a favor, hit subscribe. It does not cost anything and share this video and you are entered into the K9 Fishing Line giveaway. Folks, this is great stuff. See that hook set right there? There's no way I'm concerned about that line giving because of its K9 Fishing Line. Great fluorocarbon line. I would not do any fishing without it. I totally stand behind this product. Great company as well. Come on folks, subscribe. Let's get back to the hook set.
All right, folks, that's gonna end it today. Great day on the water. Thanks for joining me, I appreciate it. That's a good looking fish. We're gonna let him go. Beautiful day. Can't wait to get back on the water tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.